How to run Senate Limbs in less than five minutes. This is the challenging topic of today's video and I'm going to show you how you can achieve this. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Ramon. I'm one of the core developers behind the Senate Limbs open source project. And today I'm going to show you how you can run the latest version by using a Docker container. Docker is a virtualization environment where you can download pre-built images from a Docker repository and run it locally on your computer. So you don't need to care about manual installations or installing dependencies or whatsoever. You can only download the pre-built container and run it and you are good to go. Everything you need to have is a computer with Docker installed and a terminal and two simple commands. So it is really, really easy. So let's start here. I have already a terminal open and I have a Docker already installed on this computer. So what we do first is we are pulling the image from hub.docker.com. It is called, the repository is called Senate. And the image we would like to have is Senate uh, with the tag 2x. This will ensure that, um, that we have the latest version and download it. Uh, and eventually we have it already. So um, and there are no, no updates here. So everything is fine. So it will look up here in, in hub.docker.com. You don't need to be registered or, or need an account there. It simply it downloads the version or it looks up the version from the Senate organization, the Senate repository. And here we see already uh, tag 2 access is downloaded on our local computer. One disclaimer beforehand. So 2x and edge are the really bleeding edge developers versions. So we have an um, automated process inside uh, GitHub, which hosts the core code base, which create on every merged pull request, so every change, every time we change something in the code, a new Docker image is created. So this is perfectly suited to test and um, check out new functionalities in Senate, but obviously uh, not the right choice uh, to run a production site with that container. All right, uh, we downloaded the version. Now it is time to run the container. Therefore, we use the Senate, um, not the Senate, but the Docker run command. And uh, we say we would like to delete the container after this stop because we don't need it anymore. Uh, we would like to name the running container Senate and we would like to use port 8080 the same as in the container. Uh, when we access it over the web browser. And of course, we need to specify the um, image we downloaded previously. And now what Docker does is it uses the image and create a running container instance for us uh, where we can access uh, the, the container on port 8080. We can go now to our web browser and open the address of the Docker container. So for me, because uh, I'm I'm using a Docker machine which is running inside a VM, I need to specify the IP of the VM here. For you, if you are running Docker in on on a Mac system or a Windows probably as well, you can use here localhost instead of the IP that I'm now typing in. So for you, it might open probably the same page as localhost colon eighty eighty. Uh, we see now here the installation screen for a new Senate site because it is not yet installed in the database. Let's create a new, a new Senate site. And here we can leave the defaults as they are and say create Senate site. And you see already in the background a lot of things happen. And we can use this as an opportunity to go quickly to the Senate.com website. There we have a section uh, called documentation where we provided some basic steps how to how to get started with Senate. So this will give you an overview of how to create samples, how to create analysis, how to add results, how to work with worksheets, um, how to work with um, calculations, and and so on. 
So this will give you um, a nice little overview about the functionalities that are inside VM and decide if Synate is the right choice to go ahead for your laboratory. All right, uh, everything seems to be installed. Let's go back to our Senate site. And here we see the start page of our Senate site. So congratulations, you successfully installed Senate on your local computer inside a container without all of the uh, issues of installing, installing Senate manually. And that's basically it. So have fun with uh, checking out Senate and uh, testing it out. and. Thanks for your attention and watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.